bar mitzvah. The bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah. And and uh, but it's close enough. It? You can pronounce it correctly. And uh, but uh, and I'll get it right when you give it to me up close. But so um, th this but that age is nearing thirteen, right? That's that's the age. Uh, then the Jewish boy is then regarded as manhood upon him in many senses, accountable. He has the right to read from the Torah at the temple at that age, after any... Recognition then of him becoming a man right. and uh, mature. Well, I believe that God, when a child is considered accountable, it's when that child is mature in his mind or her mind to hear truth, separate truth from error, no right from wrong, and in our day, especially our day, of the young adolescents being much more mature, much more knowledgeable through the world of communication than they have been. Now the world of communication is bringing them to a level of maturity too fast, I think, before their time, I believe. Childhood is being taken away from our uh, children today because of the communication of the world. It's being taken away. So the level of their accountability, if they're in a home where one is believing and they're holy, they're considered holy before God. In other words, they are God's children. Uh, Israel was considered God's children, but they were not born again of the Holy Ghost. We have a precedent for what I'm saying. They were considered God's children, but they were not born again of the water and of the Spirit. But every Israelite that opened the womb of the mother in Israel was considered part of the kingdom of God and a child of God by natural birth. So we, there's a precedent for a child being in a home at a certain age and being considered separated or holy because of that uh, mother or that dad. So when do they come to the age then of accountability? Uh, number two, I state, and we won't finish this tonight because the uh, choir is beginning to come in on age accountability, page 87. An ungodly person, when do they reach the age of accountability? When they receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, regardless of their age. Regardless of their age. <coughs> when a person receives the baptism of the Holy Ghost, because then, then they have the comforter in them to lead and guide them and to teach them. Now let's get some scriptures real quickly and then I'll let uh, just a few moments we'll have left to, uh, to answer the first questions, our comments, and we'll come back to this subject next week. Uh, right to page 87 is where we're becoming brief. Bring your book, The uh, Keys of the Kingdom, and if you don't have one, one was given you tonight. If you haven't received it, see Brother Richard May, the book that I had printed for the notes and the scriptures. If you have it already and you just borrowed one tonight so you can be in his class, then leave it with Brother May before you leave. If you don't have one, take it home. It's your book. Uh, you, you can have it. Uh, but in 1 Corinthians, that is for 1 Corinthians, pardon me. Uh, let me get my scriptures right. Job 14 and 4 in the Old Testament. And I'm hurrying, but that's what you do when you get in a hurry. You start skipping scripture. But for Job 14 and 4, um, let, let's look at that. Uh, 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. See, no one can bring right.
righteousness out of their own heart. It takes God to do that. Salvation is not of you. Salvation is of God. See, the scripture says salvation was of the Jew. Then, uh, and then it said uh, that so he, he came to bring salvation in that name. There's not, no salvation in no other name other than the name of Jesus. So salvation is what brings a clean vessel out of an unclean vessel. Now, the age of accountability is the process that God uses to bring the clean out of the unclean. Because no one or nothing else can do that. But the process of accountability. You are accountable to God. I'm accountable to God. When I am born again, I become accountable. Uh, I, 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 I'm then stair stepping my way into righteousness <clears throat> and holiness. Uh, could use Second Peter again if I wanted to there. Uh, wherefore, given these precious promises, by, by these we might be made partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Besides this, you want to stand to your faith. See, uh, me being clean is a work of God in me through my will being submitted to him. If my will is not submitted to God, I will never be clean because I cannot be clean in myself. If my will is not submitted, that's why it's very important not to just bank on the Holy Ghost saving you making you perfect, saying, I received it. You may receive the Holy Spirit and the gift of God, but then if you don't practice yeah. obedience to his word and mm -hmm. discipleship of his word, the Holy Ghost alone, the washing of mm -hmm. the water, see, uh, cannot operate outside of the word. Jesus said, but you're clean through the word, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Jesus said, but you're clean through the word. See, so the word is what brings the clean, the cleanliness of my spirit and heart out of the unclean condition of my degenerate man, regenerates me into a new generation. So that the uh, age of accountability begins mm. with the baptism of the Holy Ghost and then Job 25 and 4, um, he uses this thought, and we don't use these scriptures very often. How then can a man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? He can't be. He cannot be. It's impossible. Uh, Jesus, or Paul said, uh, or Jesus said in the 19th chapter of Matthew, they said, who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? Because Jesus got to quoting the word to them. And Jesus said, well, I'll tell you now. With men, it's impossible. But I thank God he added that the rest of that. I would have been really down the chute. I would have been lost. But he said, but with God, but with God, but with God, all things are possible. <laughs> See, it can't be with man. You can't heal yourself. You can't cleanse yourself. You, you are accountable. And when I become accountable, then the word and through obedience begins to cleanse me, heal me, save me, give me joy, give me peace justify me, and I'm happy in the Lord because I'm an obedient servant unto God. So it's not negative. It's not gray. It's, it's positive. It's positive. Um, okay? Uh, all right. It's right at that time, and uh, I know I must fool my tent.
here. Grandma, if it's 